YouTube, how are you? Palm Performance and a 1948 bus. Um, if you guys want to follow along the videos, we greatly appreciate it. Our 1948 bus is headed out to California to be a desert hangout for a family. Um, cool part is we're getting really close coming out of FAB, and this is when the great transformation starts. We start seeing the inside come together. So some of the outside stuff since our last video is our stop sign is actually mounted. When we go on the inside, it's not per se totally functioning yet, but you'll see why it's close. And we got our solar panels up on our roof. The goal for the solar panels are we have a 100 hour battery. The family wants to be able to you know, run a laptop out here, have your phones charging, have a Bluetooth speaker going, have all of our lights going, but it doesn't need to be say running AC, six fans, seven TVs. It's much more of a chill bus. Get out here, kind of get away from a little bit, a little bit off the grid, you know. So the solar panel here is gonna give them enough stuff to allow all that stuff to function but not run a TV and watch a 19 hour game or something. So, um, but that's the point of the solar panel. She's up there. And the reason we have her mount on this side is, is as we've gone over some of the earlier videos, the right side of the door opens getting a custom deck built around the bus when it gets out to California. So let's go inside and see what we got going inside. Well, coming on up in our bus here, you will see our bus is cleaned out. And even though I'm short, I have a ton of headroom with our atrium roof. Um, coming in here, our walls have been basically stripped. All of our animal droppings have been basically <laughs> cleaned out. This thing has been cleaned, cleaned, and cleaned. Uh, my fault, you should have expected a 1948 bus that had been parked outside in, you know, the wilderness for who knows, 15 years. I thought we had the smell a lot more under control. We do now. Um, every panel came out of in here. We basically almost did like a house. We put kills up in here, and then like we were doing like a waterproof part of a trailer roof or a ceiling roof, put a bunch of rubber in here to help with the sound. So it's got two coatings of basically a sealant in there to help with water. And then coming through a bus, say in 1958, 68, 78, boy, we just put screws wherever we wanted. So we didn't realize how many screw holes were all throughout this thing. So before we could paint in here, um, the screw holes that are left at this point, screw holes were mounting every other spot and we still gotta get our, you know, filler in over, was basically just holes. And I get it, it was a work bus. You know, kids got in here as a church bus, no one cared. So, hey, pull the panel off, fix something. <laughs> Problem is you had a ton of holes. So, coming back to our solar panel, we got our box rebuilt. Um, the guys did a great job. So, our front panel is basically shot. We bead rolled the face, basically matched the side of the bus. And this piece of trim over here was no longer available and with the bus we got. So this piece of trim was rebuilt and to match everything else. This will all be polished out. Our stop sign is close, but our door is rebuilt. It's going to be a manual hinge, power on, power off. Our solar panel controller is going to live in here. We will shut this to hide it. All of our switches are going to be in here. So all of our on off dimmers are gonna live in here. And what this is gonna do is control our lights. These lights are gonna be on. We got can lights coming up in here. We got the customer wants a little custom light coming up here that we basically made to have a accent light coming onto the steps. So all that will be controlled through these panels here. There's gonna be an outlet with USB charging capabilities right here. So everything's gonna be hidden. Once our seat comes back in, you can control all this here, plug in your USB outlets and still go. This guy is going to be welded onto the back in here. A Bluetooth speaker is going to be in here. We'll dynamat around the back. So basically you can pull your speaker out, jam some tunes in here, put it out on the deck. Or when you're done, just set it back in there and you can play it in there. And then our hammock mount is in. We're able to on the outside, which is cool. Our hammock is going to hang from here, head to the back. And what's great is on this, when we walk around to the outside, we basically built it right into here. So it looks like it's original on the outside. You can't tell that all the supports in here. We got a family style hammock that's rated to 550 pounds. Our hooks are rated to more than that. So you basically throw yourself and a couple of your kids in here. Enjoy yourself in here. Um, we come around too, we're gonna head out to the outside bus and check out we got some of our patina paint done on our lights. We got our tail lights all installed too. All right, heading out to our side of our bus. We had 1939 with satellites we picked up at a swap meet. Voila. They have been patina painted to match. They are functional. So basically the goal is with the outside of the bus is to keep all of this, anything that new goes on here, we want to make it A, functional where it lights up for some ambient lighting on the desert, but B, also not make it look like, you know, out of place. So once you get out there in the desert, I've <laughs> never been out that part of California, 
looks like four to five months of basically 100 degree plus heat. All this paint's going to kind of weather out. It's going to match in. So really happy the way all the patina paint came out. Um, next installment of the bus, what's coming next? Well, behind us, we got a bunch of our door glasses built over here off to the side. We're going to hold off on installing these because our next video on the bus is going to be painting the inside of the bus. What color is the inside of the bus going to be? We're well, going to have to watch the next video. Find out, of course. Hopefully next time you see we'll have a bunch of color inside. Get our door glasses put back in. The bus is really coming down to the finished part, which is the greatest part of any project because it is the final part of the project. So thank you guys for following along. We appreciate it.